Now that you've created and tested your e email template, the next step is to build an email alert. And so what we do is to go to um, settings and then we go to platform tools to process automation and then to workflow actions to email alerts. Or you could have entered email alerts in the, uh, in, in the search box, but this gives you a little better sense. Uh, provide some good helpful narrative about what uh, an, a flow is all about, and then you're able to click continue. And what we're going to be doing is creating a new alert. And again, we've got uh, you know, potentially options for different views if we have them. So I'm going to create an email alert. And for, for this one, th this can be relatively uh, uh, straightforward. So I'm going to do it as, as force uh, 501 and then um, volunteer. And, and for the most part, again, this is, this is uh, email follow-up. Um, and we're going to call this urgent. How's that? So then I'm going to say, we'll take that as a unique name. The object we're going to work with in this case is contact. Um, and then we're able to, uh, to look here and say, OK, we, rather than user, let's go to email field. And that's a key thing if we're trying to get to emails. Uh, the email template uh, we're going to be using, and we can, we can search for it. And we're looking here in the public, and we're not seeing it. Hmm. And that's because it's not active. So if we go back here to the last step, we were actually building out this, this, uh, this email template. It's not active. So what we're going to do is to edit it. And we're going to mark it as available for use and save it. What that then allows us to do is to go back to this page. And when we refresh, or let me see if we can just do it. I don't think we have, I think let me do a refresh. Um, and it'll probably blow everything away, but we can at least put it back. Because what this will do then is to say, OK, so we want to call this, this is force. We're going to come up with a name. We're going to call this a contact. Uh, we're now going to look at, at uh, um, oh, we're going to make change this one to mail. We're going to change, the, uh, now looking for the email template, we're going to do a lookup. And guess what? It's there. So uh, we then are searching for an email field. So we're going to say we're going to use this email field. And what we're trying to do with this is we're saying kind of when the alert happens, what you're doing is going out and sending an email to a contact using that uh, uh, using the template, the email template that we talked about. So for now, we're going to leave it as uh, the current user's email address. We could make this default if what we want to do is to have it coming from a single admin address. So I'm going to click Save. And uh, what you can see, too, is that we're these uh, the rules, there's currently no rules using it, and there's no approvals using it because it's a brand new rule. But it does give us a chance to look at these related lists. Uh, now we're on to the next step, which is building the workflow rule and when to use the email alert with a template.